What's up, YouTube? It's me, the Diva X, and it is uh, June second, twenty eleven, at five nine ugh, at nine fifty eight um, p.m. And I am ready to go to the show. Last week we did Judas, um, the Judas performance for the Lady Gaga CD release show, and it was pretty amazing. I do, say, if I do say so myself. Um, I had a wonderful time performing that song. I had a wonderful time during rehearsals. I had a wonderful time with the dancers. I had a wonderful time putting the costume together and getting everything right. Um, I had a good time finding that wig. I had a great. It was just a good overall Lady Gaga experience. I actually um, was excited and just to have it done. <laughs> um, especially when you're working on it and you're like working, working, working and then you finally get it done. It's like, yes, it's done now. So, um, yeah, that's exciting. And, you know, um, it turned out the, the way I wanted it. That's what was important. Um, especially the costume-wise. Like, I had the vision in my mind and just like, oh, I just... I'm gonna, I, and I've said this every time I, I do a performance, I'm a procrastinator, so I wait to like the week of to like, I mean, I'll gather things beforehand so I have everything here, and but I won't start actually putting everything together until like the week of, and the, like, I know I shouldn't because if I don't have something or something changes or whatever, I need to get it, and then it's just a bigger hassle, cause especially if it's something you can't just go out and get. Um, so, uh, yeah, I had everything, that's the good part. Um... But I'm very excited about it, and I, I'm glad it's it's done, and um, we, I do have video of it. Um, the video, see, here's what happens. Well, I, I've explained this before, too. So I had, apparently, I well, now I have three videos of it um, of different angles. One is the main video that we always use for, like, um, the main Exotica uh, website and or um, YouTube page. Um, but the thing is about that, and I'm looking into getting a different one, but... The camera that I use is a hard drive camera, and what happens is once the crowd gets so excited and the, the rumble of the, the roar of the crowd, uh, uh, the hard drive inside uh, shakes, and so it causes the, the needle that's recording to skip, and so it buffers. It's called buffering, and that's what happens, you know, it just, it just messes up, and it stops recording. So luckily, um, my best friend, one of my best friends, Ben, was standing opposite corner with his flip cam i think it was his flip cam and then i had another flip cam on the opposite in the other corner so it was just there's like a lot of angles of it so hopefully through it all i have all, all the footage i need of it i know ben's footage i watched his footage already and it looks great i mean it's a you know it's behind the crowd so you kind of see heads and stuff so i i kind of like that effect from, um of, of videos um because it kind of adds the element of being there um but then the other ones i think rich was front row on the side and then um, um rock stars uh footage was wherever i haven't watched it yet so um so hopefully which, either way, even if I just use one of the footage cameras, I'm sure it's it's fierce and fabulous so for you guys to watch. And the other ones, I'm sure, are just as fabulous, too. I watched the beginning of some of them, um, but just because of, the, you know, having to get prizes and giveaways and stuff, um, I didn't get to watch the whole show the way I would normally like to, um, and the plus having to get ready. So, anyways, that was fun. Um, if, you haven't have, if you haven't had the chance to get, listen, um however you want to do it get lady gaga's album it's pretty amazing um i would say there's only one song on there that i actually don't really care for at this point in time i won't say which song but um all the other songs grew on me <laughs> um and I, it's i think in listening to the collection as in the whole album as a whole um you get a new appreciation for the sound and you get an appreciation for what she's what she was creating i mean collectively they sound great you know um from song to song you don't ever i i didn't i mean even the song i don't really care for i can listen to i don't skip through it i do listen to it i just is my least favorite song so um i enjoy it i'm very excited i did order the um whatever the the fan pack one whatever comes with the poster and whatnot and um the the vinyls i'm really excited to see those vinyls because i i collect vinyls um especially when it comes to like box sets like that um i have like i think i've said this last time i have madonna's i have a lot of madonna's um i have some of um 
There's some other ones I have, but I can't remember what they are. But anyways, any special vinyls, like limited edition special vinyls that are like rare, I do collect. So I did order those from um, for Lady Gaga. They supposedly they'll be here by the end of July. Like, I don't understand the process time on that, but um, whatever. Um, so yeah, but I did get the digital download from that package already. So that, you know, I got it at midnight when everybody else did. Um, so that's fun. And I actually bought a hard copy too, of course, because like a regular CD, um, just because I support the arts. <laughs> um, other than that, I've just been um, dealing with a lot of personal family issues, not really connected to me. And I mean, um, ultimately, and I'm sure maybe those of you who are, who follow me on certain, um, on Facebook things, um, there's been a lot of, like, of personal family stuff going on as far as, I mean, there's, like, uh, let me just break it down for you guys. Um, one of my, two of my, but, I mean, the primary source of the, the disputes, um, are coming from one of my little cousins being pregnant, 15-year-old cousin being pregnant, and what should the outcome be of that? And, um, personally, I, I, I just, I mean, I really didn't want to get into it, but I just want to share with you guys because I think my position is probably one of the most neutral because her having a baby or not having a baby would affect me in no way whatsoever. And I really, I can't say I don't care because she is my little cousin and I've watched her grow up. And I might have said this, I don't know, I feel like I've repeated this. Um, maybe it's just been talking to family members about it, but anyways, um, she's my, you know, she's my little cousin. I, you know, did her makeup for her beauty pageant. I did her hair for her beauty pageant. What happened within the last two years ago or like within the past two years, I don't even, it wasn't two years ago, but I, maybe it was, I don't even know. But, you know, in recent past, um, I've helped her with, you know, a beauty pageant. I've helped her get ready for a cadet ball. I've helped her, you know, I've seen, I've watched her little, I've watched her grow up as a young girl and to know, I mean, I mean, I, here's the deal. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not about, <laughs> uh, it's kind of, okay, here's the deal. I don't have a problem with her. I mean, I kind of have a problem with her having sex, but guess what? Kids are going to have sex. We already know that. So ultimately, um, I do have a problem with her being pregnant. I have a problem with her being pregnant for multiple reasons. Um, and I maybe shouldn't have, I shouldn't share them with everybody, but guess what? It's my video and I'm going to. And so now you guys got me going and I'm seven minutes in and I can't stop. So ultimately the two reasons why I have a problem, well, three reasons I have a problem with her, uh, being pregnant is one she's only 15 two the guy is 19 okay which is a bigger issue to me which is like an oprah issue like it's like a later in life she ends up on oprah and telling well if oprah saw her show but that's an oprah issue because um not only is this it, and it wasn't like oh p.s uh me and this 19 year old hooked up or uh, you know we've been sneaking around no her mom allowed it in their house and i don't appreciate that that's an oprah issue to me it's an oprah issue and uh, third of all, when I the re how I found out about this whole situation is that um, her status update was um, now that now that he's gone, I still have something else that nobody I still have something that nobody else has. Well, guess what? That is not a keepsake that you want to be um, flaunting and or using as some form of uh, con consolidation or con yeah consolidation prize because a child is much more uh, than a trophy that you won at the at the damn fucking races you know what i mean like it's it's much more than a plush animal that you win at the fairgrounds it's not something you use in that term and i know a lot of girls and i'm not saying i don't know i haven't even had a moment to have a conversation with her regarding this whole situation just because um i don't know why i just haven't and I, it bothers me um that because there's so many outside influences and i'm sure she you know she's she's not a stupid girl but I don't think she's 15 so I mean her her decision making skills maybe aren't as keen as they should be and or with outside influences not making a proper decision and I just think that um, everyone has a little bit something I mean you know her mom's gonna tell her one thing because that's her daughter I get it her you know her grandma's telling her one thing and and they all have different in you know different personal uh, uh, reasons and i mean personally i don't care i'm not gonna be watching the baby i'm not gonna be changing the baby i'm not gonna shower the baby i'm not gonna do anything with that child um so ultimately with me it's like a neutral palette like i don't have no if ands or but i don't really like like you know what i mean but i care so much about it because i don't think having a baby at 15 is the right thing to do for anybody sorry if that offends you sorry if that isn't your ideal of fun but 
personally to me I was all I, the one thing that I remember from high school um, from sociology was that my teacher told me if you wait to have children until after you're 30 you are more likely to be successful and being able to support and raise your family so in my mind and I don't even want kids but that is one thing that's always stuck with me from sociology from ninth grade that that little factoid of information and that's I mean I don't know if it was a study I don't remember exactly but I remember that statement that she made to us um, and it stuck with me and I repeat that as much as I can to anybody in addition to having a baby I just think that a 15 year old should not be having sex with a 19 year old and particularly unprotected sex because guess what this 19 year old is going around popping his little thing into anything apparently that is allowing it and to me that is not cool because on a bigger scale outside of being pregnant what did you catch what STDs what anything that possibly could have contracted you know what I mean my mind always goes there um, and pregnancy yeah it's important <laughs> it's important not to get pregnant but more importantly it's important to use condoms and if you're not using condoms that's I mean you're you're, you're I, I just can't comprehend as to why a 15 year old I don't know I don't know I don't get it but ultimately that's all I mean and again I say we're dealing I'm dealing with it's not really dealing with it's just like the this whole situation has been processing in my head because I feel very strongly about it um, and more so again about other things uh, just you know the the decisions and the influences that people are being upon her because I don't think I mean I don't think Ultimately, a baby is a big responsibility, and I think everyone maybe watching this video might understand that, and I just don't quite understand, you know, I don't, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, because let me tell you this. I don't want kids at this point in time in my life. If I had kids, my child would not come home and tell me that she's pregnant. I'll tell you that much. She would not. She would have the life skills and the important information that she needs beforehand before making decisions to get herself in that situation to know that she is not, that's not appropriate for her. And just like the sentence that I said about my sociology teacher shared with me, she would know that and she would respect that and she would plan on that. I know stuff happens, but guess what? There's things that you can take. There's things that you can do. And I'm not, and I know everyone's like jumping on the bandwagon of, you know, Abortion, I'm sorry. I don't have a problem with abortions. If you have a problem with abortions, I'm sorry. I'm not saying she should have an abortion. I'm saying she needs to explore some options. I'm saying you can give it up for adoption. I'm saying you can make other arrangements in your life. But having a baby at 15 is not, not acceptable. I'm sorry. That's my point of view. I'm not going to hate her for it if she decides to do it. But that's just the way I feel about the situation. Um, yeah, so... Okay, now that I've said a mouthful and my minutes are <laughs> shortly decreasing, um, yeah, so that's what I've just been, and it's really kind of an internal process. I've talked to a few people about it, um, family members, not people, um, you know, just kind of bouncing off, like, thoughts and opinions of it, because it is, you know, it is kind of affecting a lot of people, at least as far as, like, why this is happening, you know? Um, and then come to find out, another one of my cousins, who is a little bit older, is pregnant as well. Still underage, but a little bit, I mean, she's on the cusp of being 18. So, you know, we're, like, cool with that. I mean, not cool with that, but she's an adult. You know what I mean? And she's, I mean, well, she's going to be. I, You know, it's a little bit of, <laughs> I know it's the same situation, but a different, 15 and fifteen to 18 is, is, a, is really, truly a big difference, even though it's not really a big number difference. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna go now because I fucking said a mouthful and it's uh, Time for me to go and it's not time for me to go, but I just need to get off of here right now. Okay. Thank you guys for watching Sorry, I went a little bit deep on y'all, but um, I feel much better. So now I have a great show. Thank you guys Follow me subscribe all that fun stuff. Okay. Bye